We're working on part six of problem two. You're designing a system to match up groups in the Tri Mentoring Program, where each group has one mentor, one senior student, and one junior student. You've already pared down the list so that there's the same number each of mentors, senior students, and junior students, and a separate algorithm proposes a list of candidate groups with potentially many groupings for a particular person. Your algorithm's job is to select a set of groupings among those candidates so that each person is in exactly one Tri Mentoring group. Uh, so this, this does feel a little like a graph problem, except that it's, it's sort of a tripartite graph problem. There's a bunch of junior students, there's a bunch of senior students, there's a bunch of mentors, Oops, I drew one fewer uh, junior student than the rest. And, 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 and an edge in the graph is, is really sort of a set across these three uh, partitions of the graph uh, that matches up all three. We're given this list of candidate matchings, and our job is to put everyone in exactly one group. Uh, and that feels a lot like the only problem where we've got this tripartite structure where we've got a list of n elements in the first group, a list of n elements in the second, a list of n elements in the third, and that is 3D matching, which is the problem that I said we will not have on the final exam. Sorry about that, uh, but that is the answer here. So, oh, sorry, I forgot to remember the letter E. So, E. And What's n, the number of elements in each set? Well, that's the number of mentors, senior students, and junior students. It is a match. Uh, we do know that there's exactly the same number of each of those. Um, and uh, what is this list of candidate triples that we get in the 3D matching problem? Well, in this problem, we have a list of candidate groups, and they are triples. So we put those together, and our algorithm does exactly what 3D matching does.